Yo, what's up everybody? This is Unpunk back again with another Animal Crossing New Horizons guide. Today we're going to be explaining how to unlock the hourly music within New Horizons. First up, this is going to be containing spoilers of the first five to seven days in the game. So make sure you guys click off the video if you don't want to be spoiled and you want to unlock this naturally. Now, I know a lot of you have been hearing the exact same music on your island for the first one to two days that you've been playing it and it can be a little bit boring. Well today I got a fix for that and how you can unlock Isabel and a few other features that come along with what's called the resident services. First things first, this is not, and I repeat not, available to anyone at the time of making this video unless you either had an early review copy or you use time skip to speed up this process. There are a few requirements to unlock what is called the resident services that come along with hourly music, Isabel, and a few other features. This process, like I stated above, takes between three to seven real-time days to complete, and that's only two days into release. It's not possible without manipulating time. The first requirement is going to be unlocking Blathers and getting his tent. The full museum is not required, but I definitely do it along the way. It's not very time-consuming. After that, make sure you pay off your first loan, which is 5,000 Nook Miles, then go on to upgrade your house. Once upgraded, Nook will tell you that it is time to build a bridge. You get to choose where the bridge is placed, and you have to gather and make a few different DIY items before you're able to place it down. The next two steps can be done in any order. You need to go on a minimal of three island tours, the Nook Miles tickets, which are only accessible starting your second day on the island once you have unlocked the airport. On said islands, there will be different islanders that you can talk to, one per tour, and if you'd like to, you can ask them to come live with you on your island. You're going to need to select three islanders, particularly I would say ones that you enjoy or would like to have because they will stay for a while once they have moved on. The other half of this requirement is going to be talking to Nook once all the above requirements are complete. He will prompt you to place three house plots down and build different furniture for them so that your new islanders are able to move in. Each house requires you to build three indoor and three exterior items, being a total of 18 things you're going to need to craft for the three houses. Now don't worry, Tom will give you all the required DIY recipes to craft the items, and all you'll need to do is collect the required resources, which you can gather around your island or on island tours. One thing to note is I'm not sure at the time of making this video if you need to have Nook's Cranny unlocked, but it traditionally comes by itself around day two or three, so you don't really have too much to worry about there. Once you have completed all the requirements I had stated above, the next day, when you get all of your three islanders to move into their new homes, and only once all three move in, you can go talk to Nook and he will congratulate you on a job well done and tell you that in the next two days, the resident services will be upgraded. The first day will be having it under construction, like you see with the museum when it is built, and the second will be when it opens. I'm not exactly sure why they made it take four to seven days in real time just to unlock some basic features of the game like hourly music, but if you follow this guide, you should have your resident services up and ready to go in no time, figuratively, of course. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did help you out, make sure to drop a like. It definitely helps the channel grow. I highly recommend subscribing. We're pumping out tons of Animal Crossing content on the channel, and if you turn on those notifications, you won't miss any of the uploads to all the great content we'll have over the next few weeks here, especially during this crazy world pandemic. This has been your friendly neighborhood on Punk. I hope you all have a safe and wonderful time playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, and we'll see you soon. Peace.